Hello, I'm Wendy Cloud. <laughs> you are a comedy writer. You know what I mean? You have you always been a comedy writer? Well, here's the thing. I think that what happened to me in my middle age is that I decided to stop fighting the fact that I was a comedy writer. Like I felt like in my earlier years I was trying to prove that I was a writer, you know, and comedy isn't taken particularly seriously. And so I think I was sort of bumping up against that. And once I just gave in to the fact that I write comedies, I felt there was this great kind of blossoming and and that I knew how to do something that a lot of other people didn't know how to do. And it isn't always fashionable and it isn't always taken seriously by the critics, but audiences love it and ultimately they're the ones that matter. Can you just say a little bit about like your inspiration for writing it and uh, you know, some of the thinking that went into it? Well, it was inspired by a real evening I spent with my family when we went on vacation in Palm Springs. And everybody was tired and hungry and it was Sunday night and we found one restaurant open, still open, and we sat down to order our meal and we encountered the most extraordinary waiter that I've ever met. And by that I mean bad, the worst waiter I have ever, ever had. And he seemed to kind of thrill to his power to control whether or not we got our food and drinks and when we got them and who got them first. And it was just a sort of a fascinating character study. So that was the, the launching point for the play. And, um, you know, the other thing that I had been thinking a lot about is it's very rare to see a play about a good marriage, an ordinary marriage, because you usually see plays about relationships in crisis. So this crisis is very mild. It's a, it's a hungry couple celebrating their anniversary. But, you know, I, I often some say that I that it's just a comedy. And I really want to interrogate that and say it's not just a comedy because we all hunger to laugh. And there's something so extraordinary about being in a room full of people, an audience who is is sort of laughing at the antics of these three characters, right? But I do think that a good comedy can last. And that's what I hope for.